Hey, what's up, guys? Brent here, your CPT promo guy, and you know what's good clothing, headwear, and promo goods. If this is the first time my channel, hit that subscribe button. We've got some awesome content, everything related to promotional product branding, where we take you guys through the entire process from start to finish and show you how we get to that final product. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how we do a vinyl heat transfer on this charcoal fleece hoodie. Now hoodies are slightly different in printing when it comes to hoodies to t-shirts. So for you guys who want to understand how we do this on these fleece hoodies, you're going to want to stick around and definitely give this video a like and comment below if you've got anything you want to ask me along the way or if you want to comment on the process or want to know a couple of extra things. So, I hope you guys enjoy the video and come on over to the desktop and let's start this process. Nice guys, awesome. So we are here at the desktop and I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be doing today and these are my hoodies that I'm going to be doing. So this was the first draft of layouts that we did. Well, I didn't do it. The client sent it to me. We're not going to do the, the stripe and we're not going to do the beyond potential at the back. All we're doing is the left chest logo. So, like the icon, the VP icon. So, the client has been so nice to give me a really good quality JPEG. So, I can just put it into my program here. And um, this is the Silhouette Studio that comes with the Cameo 3 awesome little little um, program and uh, very easy so we're just going to be doing the top circle and VP icon so we're just going to be choosing the trace section and we're just going to be tracing what we need to be cut and you'll see how it is selected it nicely and the And the line work has come out relatively nice. Let's just give a good good view here. Looks like everything's looking good. Always got to check the line work before you get going. Looks like it's traced it nicely. So that is awesome there. So that's perfect. So we got that ready. I'm gonna delete the main logo and yeah so we just got three of the charcoal ones uh, hoodies to do for these guys we got a couple of extra black and a couple of t-shirts to do but I just want to show you guys the charcoal hoodies today and um, they have decided to go with the orange print on the left chest logo so I'm just going to be setting up three of these logos here. Obviously, got to remember we got to mirror it. So we're mirroring it, and we are setting it up. And it looks like I can get all three on the top section there, which is nice. very cool so yeah that's how nice and easy the first setup is is just tracing the logo out setting it up on the program and then this will be sent off to the cutter and will be cut out so the vinyl will be cut out and that will be heat applied to the hoodie so what's really cool is that we haven't really we're not using a little too much vinyl here we got one two three four four little strips if you want to call it that on the board so we're not using a lot but I will definitely cut five so I've got some space here let's actually move this down slightly so that I can oh, let's move it down slightly and just so there is some space to work with at the top area of the board 
so that's that guys I'm gonna send this over to the cutter and uh, actually before I send it over to the cutter I'm just gonna cut the vinyl and put it onto the board and prepare that for the board and then I'm gonna send it off and get cutting and yeah so come along with me we'll go on to the next process so this was the very first process was just setting up the logo with on the vinyl um, cutting program and uh, yeah so it's nice and easy the client gave me a good logo so we are set see you guys in the next section Cool guys, so that was the next quick process that you saw me just setting up the vinyl, placing it on the board and getting ready for the cutter. Now we're going to go into the cutting process of the, the vinyl and then those three logos. Um, started up the cutter now and you guys saw on the desktop, desktop how I set those three logos up um, on the program and the cutter is now busy with those three. So all we have to do now is set up the heat press and put it on, let it get to 165 degrees and then that press will be ready to heat transfer the vinyl onto the hoodies. But before we do that, we've got to wait for the vinyl to finish up cutting and then we've got to get into the weeding process. So let's do that. Nice guys, so we are at the, the press um, process of the hoodie and um, I've got the, the press at 165 degrees Celsius and I want to show you guys the difference with um, the hoodie. Now I haven't changed the, the pressure on the press, I wanted to show you guys the difference here. So this is a 240 gram fleece hood. and. I know that the last job that I did on the press was a t-shirt so this press will definitely be set for t-shirts but I'm just gonna do a test press here and see the pressure and this is really the difference um, between the vinyl printing on the t-shirt and the hoodie is the pressure on the press on the heat press so you can I can already feel it's 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 a lot tougher because my press was set for a t-shirt that is thinner and obviously the fleece on a hoodie is far thicker so I'm gonna now just and even if I look at the the heat mark on the on the hood here the pressure is definitely not correct so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to loosen it up and I'm just going to test it again and get it right. I think that's far better. Um, I have got it for 15 seconds of press and this is automatic so I can't pull it up. So I've got to wait for the 15 seconds. But that felt a lot better. I just, I could even loosen it a little bit more. Yeah, that's better. So that's really the difference is the pressure on the press um, from a hoodie, which is a fleece, is a thicker material, to the single jersey on the t-shirt. Uh, that's really the difference. And um, yeah, it does obviously make a difference. It's a small difference, but it is a difference that has to be checked. 
Um, otherwise, you're going to be pressing the hoodie every time and you're going to be forcing it basically. Um, so you've got to set your pressure right. That's really the difference there. So um, I'm going to now apply the, the vinyl to the hood. And um, yeah, so I'm going to take the hood out. I just want to place it nicely um, because I don't want to get the wrong placement. So so we're always placing it from the collar, uh, the end of the collar here, um, down to the chest area. And this is a circle, so you're really just placing it literally in the middle of the circle. I'll show you, come up closer to you guys. So you're literally placing uh, the end area of the collar, so you full find your collar line and you place it like I've placed the blueprint promotions over here. So you literally follow the collar, the end of the collar, pull it down, and then you use, this is a middle, circle so you just use the middle line there nice and easy and we just work with I normally work with about yeah what's this I normally work with about 10 or so down from the collar but I've got this at 12 which looks a bit better this is an extra large hoodie though, so do find that you can pull it down a little bit more. Now I do have the the carbon paper, which you can use, uh, it's not necessary, but you could use it. So I'll just place that, but it's not necessary if you don't have carbon. You don't have to. There we go, that's set nicely. Really, that that was a good that set nicely. And uh, yeah, just a 15 seconds uh, for the first press, and then. Uh, this is a hot peel, and this vinyl that I've got here is a proper hot peel vinyl. So we can just take it off immediately. The backing paper or film can be taken off immediately. As you saw, hot peel, perfectly done. Let's hit that next one. And uh, there we go. So another 15 seconds and then that's in. The reason why I said that that is an actual hot peel vinyl is because I do find that sometimes the vinyls will say it's hot peel, but um, you do sometimes need to give it a couple of seconds, but with this vinyl that I've got, it is completely a hot peel and looking sick, looking good, looking really nice. So guys, that is the vinyl heat transfer. Wow, that looks good. <laughs> Let's have a good another good good look there again. So that'll be nicely all sorted. So that's where we at guys. That is the vinyl heat transfer to your hoodie. And uh, yeah, it came out really nicely. And that is the full process. So if you guys are keen, let me get my, let me put it on a, on a hanger, I'll show you guys. Okay. Oh, there we go. There you can see how nicely it sits. And that's how it's gonna sit on your chest, right in the perfect position. 
So that's the video guys, hope you enjoyed. If you want any comments, comment below if you want any questions or if you want to get hold of me and you want your own branded merch, I'm going to shoot my email address across the screen and you guys can directly email me and um, I can hook you up with your own branded fleece hoodies. Till next time guys, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.